You're listening to My Morning Devotional Podcast, episode 996. Today's Devo is called The Road to a Thousand, Part 1. Hey there, we're the Alessis, a ministry family working together in our church in Miami, Florida. And if you're like us, when days get busy and to-do lists get longer, it can be hard to find devotional time. That's why we've partnered with our friend Allison to produce a five-minute daily dose of heaven. This is the My Morning Devotional Podcast. Good morning, everybody. Today is a very exciting day because we have Allison back in the podcast with us. The great thing is that she's actually going to be with us the entire week celebrating the road to a thousand. Is on Friday. We're going to celebrate our thousand episodes. So, Allison, have you been? Hi, guys. I I'm good. I miss you guys. I miss this daily, but I'm so happy with how things have um, unfolded over the last couple of months. Thank you. As I said then, and I say again, thank you guys for taking this on. I know it's been a blessing, not just to me and like my husband who continue to listen, but to everybody else. Yeah, well, we love it. We're happy that you're here with us. And um, we're just thankful for what you started. The faithfulness that you had to say, I'm going to do this, but I'm going to do it for four years. And then the faithfulness to say, I don't want to end it. I want to make sure that this continues. Um, Because of that, today we are continuing to bless others and really create a great community for people just to feel like, hey, we can do life together. Yeah. So let's get into today's Devo. Let's do yeah. it. Yeah, so today we are going to be in 2 Peter chapter 3, verses 8 and 9. And it says, But do not overlook this one fact, beloved, that with the Lord one day is as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slow to fulfill His promise, as some count slowness, but is patient towards you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should reach repentance. Mm. We label today's uh, Devo, a road to 1,000, because as Rochelle just mentioned, we are celebrating 1,000 episodes on Friday. And this podcast, this idea was founded four years ago, basically this month. Um, in June, June 1st, it will be our four-year anniversary. And so we are going to be looking at different scripture verses this week, talking about 1,000 and how God was so faithful over the 1,000 episodes faithful to me and to my husband over the last three and a half years when I had it and over the last half a year that you guys have had it since February, really. And so what I wanted to talk about today is the do not overlook that part, that time passes. Mm -hmm. It's going to pass either way. And so you might have an idea that you're thinking about today and you're hesitant to start it, but the time will pass. Mm -hmm. And when I think about four years ago, it feels like an eternity. We can all remember four years ago. That was the middle of the pandemic. It was the beginning of the pandemic. And I can remember those days as if it was yesterday. Spending all those days in the pool, hanging out with my sisters, hanging out with Manny, with my sister's husband, with my cousins. It was a relaxing period for me, thankfully. And I understand that that season was different for a lot of different people. Everybody had a different perspective that season. So you can remember it like if it was yesterday, but also when you look at that time, so much time has passed (laughs) and God has been so faithful. He has strengthened my faith and you can hear it as the episodes progress, but still has been consistent in growing our faith over the last four years. So in this season, as you guys know, I I mean, I left the show because I'm in a healing season. I had a miscarriage in October and it became very heavy in my day to day. And so sometimes I can feel like the Lord is slow to fulfill his promise because I haven't been able to get pregnant. And it'll get me really emotional, but he's not slow. He's taking his time to continue to heal my heart, to heal Manny and I, to prepare us. So if you have an idea, if you have um, a valley that you may be walking through, if any of these things are happening in your personal life, God is not slow to fulfill his promise. It may feel like a thousand years has passed. It may also feel like one day, is a thousand years or opposite, like so much time has passed so quickly and you feel like you're not catching up, right? But the Lord is faithful. He's going to fulfill his promise to you. He is not slow, like what other people would count as slow. Here in our world, we think that things either take too quick or too too slow. Yeah. And this TikTok and Instagram reels, this 30 second attention span that we have, it's not good for our faith. Yeah. Because the reality is that things do take time. Yeah. And God is not slow. He has you. He's got you covered. He's going to fulfill his promise to you like he is 
going to fulfill his promise to me and my husband in this season, but also like he has fulfilled a promise through this show, continuing to bless thousands of people around the world. So God is good. He's going to bless you in this season and just be faithful to his word every day. Yeah. Well, I I love that you are talking about this, Allison, because I love that we get the privilege to have a front row to you and Manny's life and to see how amazing God has been in your life, but also how faithful you've been to him. Because you could have had times when you could have said no, and you guys have put your head down and humbled yourself and have served him. And to see you guys say, we're going to get this right no matter what. If there's things we have to change, we'll do it because we want to be faithful to God. That's been a blessing to our lives. And so I just want to tell you that we are believing that God will be faithful to you and that His promises will come to you and Manny in ways that you could have never imagined. And the beautiful thing about the verse is that it just shows God's kind of um, ability to do anything whenever in His power of redemption. Mm -hmm. And we are believing that the moment that baby comes in your life is going to feel like you've always had that baby. And you're almost not going to be able to remember the days that you didn't have your baby. But you will have it, and you'll have a beautiful family, and we're not believing that for you. Thank you. Of course. Well, let's pray. Would you like to pray for us today? Yes. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for this Monday. We thank you for this day ahead of us. We thank you for this time together that we can continue to grow deeper in your word. And Lord, we understand that some days feel like an eternity, and at other times, time feels like it's just flying by. But Lord, we know that you are consistent in both of those. We know that you have us covered. We know that no matter what valley season we may walk through whatever dream you may have planted in our hearts lord you are faithful to see it through in the good and the bad and the mundane mondays lord we thank you for it we ask that your word continue to sharpen us as we take on this day we pray this all in your son's mighty name today and every day amen amen so there you have it your five minute daily dose of heaven thank you so much for tuning in today we pray these devotionals empower you to take on your day If you found value in this devotional, share it with a friend, leave a comment or review for us on the app you're using right now. Until tomorrow, we pray that your latte is strong, but your love for Jesus is stronger.